Pastor Jerry here with another book review. This time, uh, God's Crime Scene uh, by J. Warner Wallace. And that's important, J. Warner Wallace. Um, and this is a really good book. It's about the apologetics or giving the reasons for the evidence of God. Um, and it's just going to be more specifically in God in general. Um, but uh, he also wrote another book called Cold Case Christianity. Uh, and just to kind of give you a little history on him, uh, J. Warren Wallace was a cold case detective. And so what he would do is he would go and investigate uh, cold cases. Cold cases are basically crimes, uh, 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 cases where there was a crime that was committed in the ever it's been years later the, everything about the case has gone cold and they don't know if they'll ever solve the case or solve the murder and so J. Warren Wallace when he was a cold case said would go in look at the old uh, old evidence and and help to try to determine what happened and try to solve these old crimes or cold cold cases and so that's what he did for a profession at one point he eventually turns this and by the way he was an unbeliever at this time so he was not a christian and he turns that investigation side over to investigating christianity to see if it was true or false and in the end he proves that christianity is true and so he wrote a book called cold case christianity which i'll talk about another time but later on he wrote this book god's crime scene and so what he's doing is looking the evidence of the the universe and the credit world and see does it point to our creator god and that's that's his main view and he's he's taking a very classical approach uh, to this topic now if you love crime movies or crime tv shows um for example uh me and my uh, i used to like uh, i used to watch uh, the tv show castle um and uh with nathan fillion and and the crime scene i know other people like csi and stuff, and, and if you're that type of person, you love crime investigation, then he's going to approach to examine the evidence for God from that perspective, that that particular analytical perspective. And so it's very interesting how he does it. He explains how he goes about examining the evidence for God. And and, and so he's taking what it would be called a, a uh, uh, looking for is there a creator God? Now, the first part of the book, I kind of divide it here. The first part of the book is about this part, and it's actually a very quick read. You can read it real quick, and it keeps it very simple, which is great. So, if you don't, you're not very analytical, or you struggle with stuff, read the first half of the book, and it, you should be able to understand most of it. However, if you're like, well, that was nice, but I want to go a little deeper, then he has the second half of the book, this half, and as you can see, that's still pretty thick, which, which, which what he calls this secondary investigation. And then this section, he take, goes back to those chapters and goes a little deeper on a couple of issues. And it is a little deeper, a little bit more harder to understand, but it goes a little deeper. Now, he also, at the end, he also gives uh, books on the topic that you can look at and actually gives uh, the pro and con size. And so he gives you the book. So if, you know, you want to go even a third layer deeper, he gives you the reference material that you can do to go a little deeper in the topic. And so that's one of the things that is real good about it. it, it this book meets anyone at any level and so it isn't difficult some people struggle the the just their mind doesn't struggle so the first half book is good and they're good they're done uh, some people want to go a little deeper other people want to go really deep and he does that it's a very excellent book and just kind of uh, i'll read the back of the book 
In a crime investigation, there are four causes of death, and only one of them requires an intruder. Murders typically involve su a suspect external to the crime scene. If there's evidence of an outside intruder, homicide detectives have to prepare for a case. Chase. Uh, J. Warren Ross, a former atheist reason, seasoned cold case detective, and popular national spirit as he tackles the most important case with you. On the journey, J. Warner examines eight critical pieces of evidence in crime scenes of the universe, determine if they point to a divine intruder, or if you have uh, even wondered if something or something outside of the natural realm created the universe and everything in it, this is a case for you. And so that's what the book is about. Uh, to kind of give you an idea, it has a lot of good references um, from Lee Strobel to Eric Metaxas to Nancy Piercy, Frank Turk, Hank Kennegraff, um, Paul Copan, uh, let's see who else, Michael Behe, Nabil Qureshi, uh, Brent Kunkel, um, Sean McDowell, uh, and, and many others. There's a lot. It's he. A lot of people really think this is an excellent book. I do too. I think it did a wonderful job. Um, I want to give you an idea of some of the chapters here. So, uh, so the first one has someone else been in the room, and so he just he gives a story, a, a basic illustration of what a crime scene in the tournament. If there's a crime, was there an intruder? And and so what he's what he's going to equate this to is the universe began to exist. Creation, the the, the universe, Earth, um, the uh, how things are, the credit world exists. And was there an outside intruder, i.e., God, who was the intruder who made it happen? Or is this a something internal? And so you can say, uh, was it a murder or was it suicide? And depending on the answer, depending on how you approach it, and somewhere here is the universe and everything that is, was there an outside influence that caused it to happen? Um, and in the beginning of the chapter, in the beginning, was the universe as an inside job? And he gives what's called a cosmological argument. Uh, and, and basically, it's the, the we're looking at uh, some of the ideas of if there, if the universe, anything that exists has a cause, the universe began to exist, therefore it has to have a cause, uh, arguments like that. Uh, chapter two is tampering with the evidence, who is responsible, and what he, this is the, he goes over like the fine tuning. Uh, uh, argument and, and looking into what makes specifically uh, the universe and everything, what makes it so fine-tuned for life. Um, the origin of life, which is basically how the life begin to exist, could there's a natural reason. The experience of consciousness, which if you hold a very physicalist perspective, if you only think matter exists, um, then nothing else exists then this is a problem because conscious mind shows that there's more to existence than just the physical realm. Um, free will or full wiring. Um, and so free will is basically, I freely choose to make a video. I freely do this. Uh, where full, uh, where, where he's uh, far in a full wiring is, I'm just being biological, uh, my DNA, my upbringing. I'm just responding, and I it, it compelled me to read this book. It compelled me to review this book, and so that's what that section is about. And that's very important because uh, that very much pushes against our common psychology uh, about the human mind, and it's very important to understand how that plays out, what are the arguments for it, and then what are arguments for free will. 
Um, law and order, and this is where he's going to go over the moral argument. What is the moral argument, God? Because the question is, is if there's right and wrong, and we have an innate sense of there's right and wrong, then there needs to be a moral lawgiver. If not, it's just subjective morality. And so he goes over that. Uh, the evidence of evil. Is there actually evil in the world? And that kind of plays off the last one. Make a decision and make it now. Uh, and so that's why I encourage you to make a decision. Uh, it, it, don't be passive. It's time to make a decision. Um, expert with uh, uh, secondary investigation. That's the thing I was telling you about where he goes a little deeper. The expert witnesses, and those are the, where he'll let you know about the books that you go to go a little deeper. And then finally, the investigator notes, and those are just his footnotes in the end. Uh, but I highly recommend it. It is a great read, uh, especially if you're into cold case stuff. If you have friends or family members who in who are unbelievers or, or, or could be believers, and they, they've never really thought about it. What is evidence for God? How can I know for certain there's a God? And they're really into cold case detectives or crime scene investigation. This would be a great book. They'll read it. They'll enjoy it. They'll be able to connect with it really well. I highly suggest it. Uh, and then later on, I will do a book review of this other book. But again, cold, uh, God's Crime Scene God's Crime Scene by J. Warner Wallace. Read it. Pick it up. Um, and in fact, they, they have lots of books, they have video, but I'm always, books are always the best. I mean, if you, you ask me and I'm doing book reviews, I like books because there's something tangible on you bring, you have to read, which is false eyesight. You, and I like reading out loud too, so I could hear it. Um, you, you can feel the book, the more senses you can bring into reading, the better. And so, um, I'm not very much into audiobooks, but they do have audiobooks version. They have a DVD where it's a surmise version of this, but I highly recommend God's Crime Scene by J. Warner Wallace. Uh, God bless you and have a great day.